Hi, Misha here, and let's do some more AK stuff with two Russian guns, Vepper and Sega, but this time, let's talk about them in 7.62 NATO 308. Now these usually come in marked 308 for legal and logistic reasons, but they have 7.62 NATO chambers. This is a Sega, what I call a Hunter. I don't remember the, the box number. And uh, it's been in long-term storage since 2000, whatever, since before the ban, obviously. And we are gonna run the first rounds ever through it. Here we have a Vepper. But this isn't the just basic Vepper Sporter you're used to with a thumbhole stock. No, nope, this is Arsenal's, or Fime Group's, fancy FM 308 22. As you can tell, it's been quite converted here in the USA to give it some features. So we'll talk about that. And we packed both military brass ammo and wolf steel case and silver bear steel case ammo. So let's go to the range and shoot both and then we'll come back and talk about the features and what Jay and I thought about them. Sega 308. That's such a long time. Pepper 308. So that was the first couple of mags. Let's talk a bit about the features, kind of compare and contrast. Both of these are based on the Kalashnikov system. So long stroke, two lug rotating bolt, typical AK safety. And actually both are built on the heavier, dutier receiver because of being 308. The Sega here, and they had different barrel lengths, but this one has a 16 and a quarter inch cold hammer forged chrome line barrel. It's not threaded, standard AK front sight, but no cleaning rod provision. Standard Sega type, uh, type handguard there. Standard adjustable rear sight. But of course, it has this really long buttstock with uh, like a 14 inch length of pull. The top tang is pretty standard, but it has a small little bottom tang that will need to be taken off for conversion. And of course, this is one of those that had the trigger in the rear. But you know, you can pretty easily move it forward, fill in the holes. It also has the manual. Last round, if I can do it, there we go. Hold back device. There's no release, you just do that. And these little baby sling swivels that they like to put on their sporter rifles. As for the uh, Vepper, FM 308. It too has a chrome line cold hammer forged barrel, but it is 20 and a half inches and it's of a slightly heavier profile and it's threaded 14 by 1 standard AK with a removable nut. It has the thicker handguard, these are RPK compatible. Likewise, it has an RPK style windage and elevation rear sight. And this is based, of course, like all of Molot's stuff, items on the, on the RPK more than anything else. It has the trigger group in the right position. 
and it never was in the rear. That's just how they come in. And it has a standard Vepper Molot type side folding stock with rubber recoil pad, rubber folding cheek piece, rotating sling swivel. Very good, very durable stock. Actually quite good for 308. Now interestingly, these use different magazines. They're both rock and lock, but different style. The Vepper is double stack, unlike the 54R version. This is the 10 round mag. These also ship with a five rounder, polymer. The Sega, on the other hand, still double stack styling, uses an eight round mag as standard. I don't know what it is about 308 guns, but finding a standardized mag anywhere, anytime just seems difficult. Not a lot of size difference, although the Sega mag is a little more tapered. And they both load quite easily, loading up rounds. Getting them into the guns when they're empty is about the same. But when loaded, which I'm not going to do in the house, the Sega is a little stiffer, kind of like on one of their shotguns. And I would advise if you put all eight rounds in, just have your bolt back and do it that way. It makes it easier. So mag loading and everything, a little bit towards the Vepper, honestly. And obviously furniture and all that more towards the Vepper. But, fun fact, I actually like the Sega more. But let's go back to the range, try some different ammo, and I'll come back and explain why. Sega Sega 308, letting Jay give it a try. Oh man, that trigger is so far forward. So the Vepper has neat furniture. I've always liked this buttstock. Has the trigger in the right position. It's one of the fine copies of a Molot trigger, perfectly good. Hand guards are nothing special, just square RPK. I do like that it has the 20 inch barrel, nice for the caliber. And it's always nice to have muzzle options. The Sega on the other hand, this stock is atrocious. It's just hollow with a plastic butt plate and it is entirely too long even with the trigger moved more to the rear it's still a humongous length of pull for me really but even for Jay as you saw and the trigger pull pretty much sucks because it's the linked trigger system of the Sega you're familiar with so why do I like it more? Well, this can be converted. So if you do that, it's a lighter gun than the Vepper. Quite a bit so. And at the same time, the Sega seems to have noticeably less felt recoil. And that's with this horrible butt stock. Put a better stock on it and it helps even more. Interesting story. Back around 2003, maybe? Correct me, I might be off by a year. It might have been 2002 or 2004. SOG, Southern Ohio Gun, had in their advert, their flyer, Segas. 
They had them in 762.39, 223, 308. By the time I went to order one, they only had 308 left, but I, I went ahead and grabbed one. What was unique and special about that run, they had this same forearm and everything, 16 inch barrel, but in the front they had an AK-74M type muzzle brake screwed on and tack welded on. So they had a threaded barrel, although it was covered up by a brake. More importantly, they did not have the trigger group in the rear. It was in the forward position. It had a real Russian pistol grip and it had the military style version of the stock. By that I mean it had the same cheesy rubber butt plate and little tiny sling swivel, but it was the shape of like an AKM or AK-74 stock sans the little lightning oval cuts. And that gun as light as it was, was just the funnest shooter and as reliable as I'll get out. And the only reason I didn't keep it, a couple of years later, I was offered a trade for a Swedish AG-42 Lumen. A trade I took and don't at all regret because, well, Lumen, still have the Lumen today. So while no regrets, that was a neat gun and I haven't really talked to anyone else who had that weird variant. It just seemed to be an odd bash that maybe kind of crept in or maybe a small importer. But the Segas just seem to be very light and handy guns and soft shooting. And that gives them a bit of an edge. Kind of, They, they feel like a nice uh, bush rifle, brush rifle. Whereas the Vepers here, they're a little longer, quite a bit heavier. They feel like a lot of other 308s on the market. I don't know, just if you convert a Sega properly, I, I just like the end results personally. I still find it odd that the magazines are not the same and they are not at all interchangeable. That's a lesson I learned way back when I had my, my gun because they had the eight round mags and I could find 10 round Vepers that was still during the assault weapons van and I thought, oh, I'll just buy some of these. They're Russian, they should fit. No, no go. Way too fat in the front and the feed angle, everything's wrong. I even asked my gunsmith friend who lived in town at the time if he could modify them and he worked on it for a bit and he, just, he never could get it to work. So it wasn't just me, they are just different styles. Yeah, this one's too fat in the back. <laughs> See what I mean? This one's One's too fat in the front, and one's too fat in the back, and never the two shall meet. That said, today, because of Fine Group, the Vepper mags are much more available, both in 5 and 10, than the 8 round Segas. But that makes sense because the Vepers were not sanctioned until June of 20. 17, it's a ridiculous pull, where as the Segas there were sanctioned way back in June of 2014. So just handling them, dry firing them, yeah, the Vepper is better. But personal choice, I think the Sega has more potential. But it's up to you. Neither one is a mil-spec gun. They're not based on a military gun, so it's just commercial fun and that's one reason we haven't really addressed them much but we have talked about the Vepper and 54R. I have these available. Figured why not. The Vepper here, these are still being shipped by Fime Group. The Sega is actually new old stock out of the back room of a closed up gun shop and so without these really being around for a while I had these available and figured might as well do a video for you folks. Some of you do actually like AKs. Yeah, we would be really interested to know your opinions on the two if you've ever shot them. And it would be fun to see what conversions you've done with either Sega 308s or the original hunting style Vepper 308. And with that, also on behalf of Jay, 
we will let you go. As always, if you could, like, share, and subscribe. And if you'd like to help buy us more 308 ammo, please check out the link to our Patreon page. This is Misha, and we will catch you when I can't fold the stock. There we go. Pretty easy to fold, honestly. <laughs> Very soon. Next time.